Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Well, we talked yesterday about how the Bears had allowed the Bulls to establish 1620 as a floor in this market. And we were trading in a range of essentially 1620 to 1632 half, and that the door was wide open for the Bulls if they wanted it to run it up to higher prices. That's exactly what they did. They jumped that 32 half, and they never looked back. So we've uh, we traded as high as 1548.75. We're still a good seven or eight handles below the upper Bollinger Band. So if you're you know if you're looking for that kind of a trade setup, we're not quite there yet. Uh, and I would ca I would caution everybody. Uh, with respect to really trying to chase a top in the market until it gives you a little bit better entry. If if you're if you're inclined to swing short, that's fine. You can do that, but you better be doing it small, and you better be spreading it out so that you don't get in too far too deep. Uh, the the 45 day pivot is is 40 handles above peak price. That's still neutral uh, for us. You want it to be 50 handles. And, um, you know, honestly, today I'm really expecting an inside day because, you know, I mean, the, we had a pretty big range expansion yesterday. Uh, so a little bit of, of a choppy range bound trade kind of leaning lower today would be would be my expectation. I think at some point in the next few days, we're going to go down and test 32 half, which is the top of that original range that makes complete technical sense uh, to establish. 32 half as the new floor, whereas we had already established 1620 as the floor as the floor previously, the bulls uh, would want to push back down. You know the bears are going to push it down, but but when the when we get to to 32 half, the bulls are going to want to make that the new baseline level of support. And the bears, no matter what happens today, we're trading a little bit down. We can trade down a lot. We can trade down to 32.75 or 33, and they haven't accomplished anything until they get below 32 half and close below 32 half then they have to get below 26 and close there they have to get below 20 and close there I mean the bears just keep digging themselves a bigger and bigger and bigger hole every day in this market uh, will we go back down to test the middle band yes will we go down and test the lower band yes yes we will why because we always do um, and you know, if we knew when that process was going to start, we would all, you know, we would all have our own private islands, and we would hang out and name days of the week after ourselves. But we don't, so we're going to have to be patient and wait for this market to turn. It'll turn in its own time. Um, but as far as the bullish case goes, you know, you get above 52 into 55. If you haven't taken a lot of profit you really want to start taking a lot of profit because there's a lot of convergence uh, in the 55 to, to 60 area on, on just about everybody's charts. Okay, the, the, the 20 and higher setup was pretty, you know, that, that was there for you. And I think you can establish that 32 half, that would work a lot off the market to allow it to go higher. But you're going to see, I think at this point, you're, you're going to see it trade sideways and then make a move back down to test 32 half to try to establish the top of that range as, uh, as a new good level uh, to jump off of. Okay, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.